you know, it fits a fan on the top to draw the heat through, don't you? Draw the, uh, yeah. draw the fire. During the winter months in the workshop, we generally make something every winter. And uh, this was the first thing that we started building. I made two new chassis, one for this, one for the box fan. Um, it's a case of acquiring the narrow gauge wheels, having the axles turned, fitting the bearings, welding up the chassis, putting the buffer beams on, creating the couplings. And then once the two chassis were made, um, we used some stuff out of a skip. These were found, or well these, there were two bins, I believe, that were uh, found in a skip. And we cut and carved, used the galvanized metal uh, on the box van, there's the corners, they were part of the, uh, these big industrial waste bins. And then fabricated the bodies, um, made them as near to uh, Welsh narrow gauge railway stock as we could had the tops rolled um, then this one was made out of uh, oak flooring so we used some scrap oak flooring to make these and then created the sliding doors like this the breeze block is to uh, keep it uh, just give it a bit of ballast a bit of ballast keep it on the road yeah. so we've got a box van got a guards van these obviously have been created out that's an old water tank uh, on a chassis that's uh, old packing crates cobbled together and um, it makes four parts of our five-piece goods train there's another uh, it's a ballast uh, wagon and that's uh, up in the woods uh, so oh well this winter's creation started mid-january finished mid-march So what's that you're putting in there then Rob? This is water additive. Mm -hmm. um, we put that in to prevent the uh, steel boiler from corroding. Up, from corroding, yeah. yeah. And the filter, it's amazing how many little bits of rubbish and muck accumulate in the filter. <clears throat> and this would uh, find its way into the injectors and block them. Spoil yeah. a nice day, yeah. yeah. Rob seems to be failing miserably today. <laughs> I neglected to put some coal on the fire and let it yeah. burn down. Is your pressure going up? Not yet. No. Not quite. No, no, no. So Chris is now taking his fan, you're taking your fan off the top now because you're up to pressure. It's, no, it's not, but it's, well, it's getting there. an inbuilt blower. Yeah. So I don't need to use the, uh, the electric. So yeah, I mean, pressure's what, 30-ish, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. It's building up nicely. So then it's got its own internal blower. Yep. So how does that blower actually work then? Does it just, is it like um, drawing like a fire draws? It's drawing, yeah. 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 So it's, it's drawing the heat from the fire yeah. through a network of pipes that run through the, the boiler. Hmm. And uh, so it draws the fire and heats the water. Steam coal has gone up to 1,020 pound a tonne. Happily, I managed to buy two ton. Ah, before. Before. Before the crisis, yeah. yeah. But how long will that last you? A while. Depends how long. How often we spend. Well, we? uh, that's very true, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's very true. Right. This engine uh, called Tim was apparently built by. Uh, C G died, D Y D E, in 1980. It came my way hmm, about a month ago or so. Um, I liked it because it's in a derelict condition. It's been stood outside apparently since 2010 
when its boiler was taken off and it needs a new boiler. Well, I've got a new Romulus boiler for it, um, but it's no, I've no fittings, I've no smoke box ring, I've got, it needs an awful lot of pieces finding for it. I'd like to put a new boiler in it, get it operational and working, but I want to keep the patina because it reminds me of when I was a small child seen in the 1960s and 70s, old steam engines at the end of the working life, just doing the last bit of work with an uncertain fate, not knowing what was going to happen to them. What I did is I, I just put a, it's an underground plastic tube uh, and a bit of four inch piping float off of the aeroplane and um, I just cobbled it together to make yeah. it complete. So you're going to put a new boiler in it? Yeah. And obviously you've got to get all the gabbins that goes on this end? Yeah. All the, uh, all the, it needs all the fittings, it needs the um, steam turret, just about every, every part of the boiler is required. I've got a boiler but it's not the, the original right one. boiler, it's, right. a, it's a proper Romulus boiler but the dome's in, the, in a different place. So okay. it needs a lot of, uh, I've got one that can be adaptable. adaptable. It's just, it's a bare boiler and it hasn't got any fittings whatsoever. Okay. So I've got yeah. to acquire all the fittings and put it together. So it's uh, another winter project. So is that coal in there or is that just... That's uh, what we've got left when we sieve the coal. Oh, so we we'll okay. use that as ballast. Yeah. That's all the little crumbs that are left. Yes. blow steam out, it's supposed to pick up. Which is the on and which is the off? If it's pointing aft then that's on, if it's pointing to the side that's off. the newness wearing off. These points have been specially made over the winter period by me. First set of points I've made, I like to have people make all the others. And the idea is that it gives us a passing line here and a main line to there. And the reason for that is we're building a turntable. This is where the turntable is going to go. We've sourced most of the ironwork to build it. And the idea is you bring a passenger train down here, disconnect, 
locomotive on there, turn it all the way around, bring it down this line, back to the main line so that you can back up and pull the carriages back again so that you're pulling both ways, engine facing forwards. There's also going to be another line on the back of there uh, with a shed on it. <laughs> That's the fire dropped. Just like that. <laughs>